within our beef quality assurance program, there's always been an area that we are concerned with with feed additives, in particular antibiotics in the feed. Over the past uh, two years, there's been a new development and movement in that relative to the use of antimicrobials in feed, feed products. Uh, with the development of new guidelines, there's also become a, a new process by which producers have to adhere if they want to use antibiotics in food producing animals. Uh, it's known as the veterinary feed directive. If a cattleman needs to feed antibiotic to prevent a disease or to treat a disease, uh, they have to work with their veterinarian through a valid veterinary client patient relationship. And in that process, the veterinarian can assess the need to use that antibiotic, can make the recommendation on which one to use, how it's to be delivered, and for what length of time. And so all of those components have to be in that in, uh, in developing a veterinary feed directive that is then sent to a feed manufacturer who can process that feed, develop that feed at the recommended dose and feeding rate as outlined by the veterinarian. Uh, it, like I said, it can only be used for a certain period of time. It's something new and a lot of cow-calf producers will not be impacted by this unless they have product uh, problems such as anaplasmosis in their herd, which might require the feeding of an antibiotic to prevent that disease from killing their cattle. So, Although it's not going to impact that many cow-calf producers and probably not even that many stocker operators, we may see some impact at the preconditioning level when we're weaning calves and trying to prevent sickness and respiratory disease in those calves. If you have a history of using antibiotics in feed, you certainly need to get with a veterinarian, develop that valid uh, veterinary client-patient relationship, and work with them to be ready uh, when you need these products. It's going to take more advanced uh, planning than a lot of producers have done in the past to use these products uh, in feed. Uh, once again, there will be no extra label use of any antibiotic in feed, and it can only be used for the uh, conditions outlined on the label. So once again, know what you're dealing with, get with your veterinarian early enough, develop these protocols, develop these feed directives, and have them ready to go to the feed manufacturer if you need them.